Dearly beloved, you've come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so, I, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Dear brothers and sisters, let us stand now and accompany this new family with our prayers that the mutual love of this couple will grow daily and that God, in his kindness, will sustain all families throughout the world. And our response that we'll say together is, Lord, hear our prayer. For this bride and groom, for their well-being as a family, firmly founded on God's love, we pray to the Lord. For their relatives and friends, and for all who have assisted this couple, we pray to the Lord. as I affectionately call you. Uh, when I found out that we were expecting, I was happy and excited as a dad to be a dad. It didn't matter, boy, girl, I was so excited I was gonna become a father. Um, however, during the delivery and birth, I was nervous and anxious, and I make no apologies for that. The first time I got to hold you, wow, and you were the first baby that I ever held. It took me 25 years to do that, but <laughs> maybe 27. But anyway, um, so much joy and happiness, it was a feeling like no other, just holding you in my arms. Uh, Tyler, she's a talker, is she not? Yep, a talker. Nothing shy about you. And I tell you what, when you were doing plays, be it at Dream Rights or in high school, or even in Joyful Noise when you did Mary, I'll tell you what, I was more proud than a dad could be because the stage was the last place I ever wanted to be. So you and her met at Millersville at the copy shop. Not coffee, but a copy shop. I heard Tinder might have been involved at the residence of the napkins back there, but, uh, Hey, all's well that ends well, and here we are. <laughs> but Tyler, honestly, from the first time I met you, I knew you were for her. I truly did. You compliment her so well. Calm, easygoing, and then when I see you together, you're just so supportive to her, and you'll listen to when, her talk, when, when she talks, and talks and talks. <laughs> and Tyler, thank God you're an Eagles fan, because the last thing I would want is some Dallas Cowboy jambroni walking through my door. <laughs> 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 I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I will wish you a lifetime of health, happiness, and a long life together. Cheers. Throughout high school, we've had a lot of amazing memories. One of my favorite being our uh, graduation night. <laughs> so back in high school, me and Tyler used to be pretty, pretty tame kids. And we decided to go do a graduation party that night. And while most people decide to bring beer or liquor, me and Tyler showed up to the party with uh, two liters of Pepsi. But uh, luckily, me and Tyler were kind of known as the nice guys in school, so we were able to trade some Pepsi for a couple drinks. And then one drink led to another, and eventually we were talking, about, talking to just about everybody there. Me and Tyler had a great night, and uh, one of the things I'll never forget, I was outside talking to somebody I couldn't tell you what the conversation was about, but out of nowhere, Tyler peels around the corner at full speed, not running, but galloping. 
galloping. And out of nowhere, he yells, This is the best night of my life! <laughs> and then gallops away. I'll never forget it. I hope I speak for everyone when I say I cannot wait to watch you two spend the rest of your lives together. And I don't know if we'll see Tyler galloping around tonight, but let's try to make this a new best night of their lives. I'd like to just welcome everyone here. It's a special day. I'm so pleased when I learned that Tyler met Megan. She's a wonderful woman, and they're perfect for each other. Where did the time go? Tyler, you were literally crawling around in my fresh room, freshman dorm room at FNM, hanging out with college girls at, <laughs> in your infancy. You've grown in such a fun, into such a fine young man. Seeing you so happy with Megan makes us stay perfect. From the first time I saw you with her, I knew you shared something special. Megan and Tyler, I think I can speak for everyone when I say it has been an honor for all of us to be by your guys' side through the happiest journey of your life. I wish you two nothing but pure happiness. Megan, the person I have looked up to my entire life, my role model, my best friend, my very own future maid of honor, the most stubborn person I know, but at the same time, the most genuine and loving person I know. Tyler, it takes a lot of patience, caring, and understanding man, not only to put up with Megan, but I think the rest of us as well. I commend you for that. I hope that everyone in this room has a chance to experience the type of love that is shown in front of us today between both Megan and Tyler. I have an incredible sister already, but I'm extra blessed this evening by gaining a just as amazing brother too. It's right when it's wrong I've stayed here too long But something brings me back to you I swear we belong I'm still hanging on But something brings me back to you 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 Brothers and sisters, it's my joy to congratulate for the first time as a married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Kreider.